What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Have you ever worked really hard and long all day in the sun so that you're just exhausted, you're weary, sore all over, you can't even raise your arms because it's just your arms and your elbows are just aching, so, so tired. And you sit down in the evening and you say to yourself, I think it's time to trim my toenails. So you whip out your toenail clippers and with great effort you manage to clip the toenails on one foot. You see where I'm going with this. You try real hard to reach the second foot but you're just so tired and the foot is just so far away down there and the effort of trying to bring the foot closer to the clippers is just way too mo much more than you could possibly manage so that you end up walking around with one foot clipped and one not you ever have that happen to you no really happens to me all the time that's really neat. Now, do you guys know what the single greatest cause of atheism is? The single greatest reason why there are atheists is obvious to anyone of average intelligence or higher. It's not science teachers at public schools. It's public high school science teachers? Nobody with intelligence thinks public high school teachers are the main cause for why atheists exist. Why even mention it? It's not anything that politicians can do. No one thinks it is. Why mention that either? Um, I'll let you guys think about it for a second. But How very generous of you to give your audience a second to figure out what they already know. The single greatest cause of atheism is being born. That is the single greatest cause of atheism. Everybody on the planet was born an atheist. It is the default position. People are born, they don't believe the gods exist. That is the single greatest reason why atheists exist. What do you think it is? It's a wide open question. The question makes absolutely no sense because everybody out there knows why atheists exist if they are even average intelligence. It is the default condition. Single greatest cause of atheism is Christians. No, it is not. It is not even a cause, let alone the single greatest cause. Christians that come into a room, similar to this one, they acknowledge Christ with their lips, they raise their hands, they may even be on stage at the church, and they do everything right in the building but then they walk outdoors just like those and deny him but the way that they live. So, you are claiming that the atheists in Saudi Arabia are atheists because Christians are not behaving the way you want them to. The atheists in India, around all of the Hindus, are atheists because Christians don't obey you. You are claiming the atheists in Turkey, surrounded by Muslims, are atheists because of Christians not doing what you want them to. This is your argument. That is what's making atheists in your head. Really, do you see any problem with your assertion? I do. That mystifies unbelievers. That's fucking hilarious. I'm sure it mystifies believers also, dude. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. It blows their mind. Like, why would you... How, that doesn't compute. 
You know it doesn't compute. You know this. You told everybody this fact that it what you just said does not compute. Then why am I here telling you that doesn't compute? I could be trimming my toenails right now, dude. Actually, I probably couldn't, could I? <sighs> Maybe after the Advil kicks in. Anyhow. So the greatest cause of atheism is being born an atheist. The second greatest cause, people recover from occult indoctrination. You are implying that if Christianity didn't exist, everyone would be an atheist. It's really people that come to church and then deny him, live totally different elsewhere. So, you have already admitted that your assertion does not compute, so you reiterated it yet again. For the record, just because Christians do not obey you and do not live the way that you insist they must, that does not make anyone an atheist. That is not how atheists happen to be atheists. I have a question for you. If a Jew does not live the way that you think Jews should, does that cause people to be atheists also? What about 1.2 billion Muslims? Are Muslims not living the way that you insist they should, therefore atheism happens? Do you see what the problem is with your assertion? You do. You said you did. Why are you still making the assertion? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. 